Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, 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 everybody celebrate. Everybody jump for joy. Not because it's now officially Christmas season. It's because it is now officially the 30th in Japan, which means OP10 is officially legal, adding six brand new leaders and giving some pre-existing leaders a much needed buff. I know it's a very exciting time because we have no clue what to expect from all these brand new cards out of OP10, but it's time for us to make a tier list instead of us actually making a brand new tier list we're going to use the tier list we made last week pretty much ending off with the current op09 ending format for the east so with that being said but before we start the video i need to tell you guys we have a tcg player cyber weekend sale you guys see it on the screen right now cyber weekend is almost here starting november 29th at 9 a.m eastern time get 10 percent store credit on all products tcg players will even more pretty much a 13 percent instead of the 10 if you are a tcg subscriber so if you guys are planning to buy anything off tcg player in the future you might as well go ahead and do it now unless the prices are inflated and if you guys are opting to buy something off of tcg player make sure you use the link in the description link on the channel i'm showing you right now how you guys do everything just literally link on the channel this is how you support the channel for free before you go into tcg players go on their channel hit my link opens up tcg player and you good to go sale goes live in three hours from the time of me recording let's go ahead and get straight back to the content let's go ahead and get straight back into our particular tier that we made last week we are back we are back we had to make a cut okay we're no longer at op09 we somehow made it to op10 even though it did not get added to op09 so this is the current tier list these are the brand new leaders that was added so before we actually get to this you know all these brand new leaders some of them are new some of them are old such as this Dolphamingo. flamingo i think it's time for us to readjust this our initial list depending on the support that you know some of these leaders got or the power creep that some of these leaders possibly got out of when it comes to particular tiers. So let's start up at top. Blackbeard got more boost in this OP 010 set release with the brand new Kuzan. You guys see it on the screen. This Kuzan alone is pretty much gonna rinse everybody. Literally fact, not an opinion. I mean, when you actually talk about this brand new Kuzan, this might make Blackbeard a tier zero deck. Blackbeard still loses to aggression and high tempo. So things such as Blue Dofi is still always gonna be here because out of every single deck in OPO 10, this still has the best tempo paced type of gameplay as well. Now, when we talk about Purple Luffy, I feel like Purple Luffy is no longer in Shice, in my personal opinion. Yeah, it can ramp up against these two, but in my actually I feel like we need we need three top decks i'll put purple luffy right here because purple luffy does have a good matchup in the dofi and since it ramped so fast with big high character monsters it can it does have a somewhat decent matchup into blackbeard to be honest with you guys i feel like it is at the tail end of shice to be honest with y'all uh it could even be right here in a1 the top of a1 but i like having three top decks in you know shice you know i just don't really just don't want to i'll just put three okay so in my personal opinion these will be the top three decks okay moving forward into opo 10 now when we look at a1 shanks is still going to be here uh i feel like luchi is moving down by luffy is moving down because since blackbeard got so much more support with that kuzan okay and this is the thing too a lot of these you know decks in this tier list is going to be built around can you beat blackbeard or do you have a good matchup the blackbeard dofi or ploofy okay mainly blackbeard and blackbeard is going to be the best deck that means i feel like these two particular decks will see a decrease it's already hard enough in opo 9 try to play against blackbeard but with the support it's almost i feel like it's almost it's, it's like always an auto loss in my personal opinion so i feel like these two decks will now move down to brazy and and bonnie actually moves down as well i'm not really been liking bonnie just when i actually looked at the stats for bonnie bonnie only had one winning which was a fake winning in 3v3s and also besides that 1v1 top i think it only topped one or two more times it's going into brazy because back in op09 bonnie didn't really prove itself okay so right now we currently only have one deck in a one uh i do kind of want to leave these three so let's just keep on taking a look nothing happened with finale nothing happened with rp luffy buggy nami 
Bello Betty. Uh, purple Luffy, purple black Luffy can be moved down here to cold. I feel like we, you know, this particular deck didn't really get anything. And when I just actually took a hard look at the stacks, I feel like it's more so of a cold type of deck. So this looks pretty correct so far. This deck is really good in the Shanks and Blackbeard. So if you guys are specifically trying to beat Blackbeard, this is a very good deck. Just being able to boost three characters' powers by 3,000 actually insane. When we take a look at cold, uh, Sanji can be in dog water. Vega Punk could be in dog water because of the presence of Blackbeard. Raiju could be in dog water. Uh, Katakuri hasn't do, done anything. And Red Yellow Sabo can still be here. So these are all my decks for cold so far. So let's go ahead and make some changes here for the dog water. Uh, so the decks of dog water. Yamato has a top. Um, let's see here. Gecko Moria has seen a rise at the tail end of OPO9. So let's put this right here. Smoker has also seen a rise in OPO9 at the tail end. Let's see here. And then the next deck. Oh, yeah, this right here. Marco. I'll have to put Marco right here. Marco has gotten a lot of better since his, the code has been cracked. I feel like I'll probably put Marco at the back of Brazy, if not the top of Cold. I'll put it at the top of Cold because I don't want it all the way over here. But it can, Marco has literally seen an increase. He's actually still topping in OPO9 at the tail end of OPO9 uh, prior to me making that initial tier list. So Marco has actually done some work in the meta. I've been telling you guys for a long time, Marco is good. It just hasn't been solved. And quite honestly, I feel like it should still probably be right here, in my personal opinion. If we look at everything else, if I had to look at everything else, everything else looks fine. This is probably the most accurate tier list so far, except for Rebecca. Rebecca, just it being a five life leader, getting all that brand new Destrosa support, having that broken ash Rebecca card, just being able to bring two cards back with the Gecko Moria and using the new black uh, Destrosa, what is it called? The black Destrosa Monkey D Luffy while also abusing that leader effect always being able to draw two cards i feel like this is definitely going to be an a1 in my personal opinion so when we actually look at everything else i feel like this is where things probably need to be maybe by luffy at the back of a1 but it also depends on blackbeard's dominance if blackbeard's really dominant then this is going straight to right here but you know if it's not dominant then these two can still be right here but in my personal opinion i'm just gonna put these two right here just this is just a prediction this is just a prediction i have no clue um let's go over the brand new leaders and the things that did just get a buff things that did get a buff was this um green purple dofi honestly i see a lot of people putting this in brazy i would honestly put this right here just because this is a fan favorite deck okay this is a fan favorite deck and i'm putting this a1 because i want you guys to cook up something to make this deck in a1 the main reason why i'm putting this a1 because you can ramp really really fast okay you can ramp with all the brand new purple support that this blue uh not blue purple green dofi did get so if you guys can ramp to the point where you're outpacing this black beard and having some control aspects with the green side to lock down this Dofi, this could possibly be an A1 deck, in my personal opinion. I feel like this deck is going to be specifically tied to Marco to where it needs to be, you know, it needs to be solved. That's what it truly just needs to be. It just truly just needs to be solved. And until that time happens, I'm going to have to play at the back of A1. The next deck that I feel like still has a good chance to be A1 has to be this brand new Smoker Leader. I think Smoker is going to be a very good leader. I feel like it's just going to be just like this uh, green, purple, Doflamingo to where it needs to be solved. Only reason why I feel like it's going to be shicey because it does have a good matchup into these two. Just being able to rush the board down with the red side is really good against blackbeard and being able to control the board with like the eight cost kid with the green side of this smoker into this blue doflamingo so when we actually look at these two topping decks to tashigi smoker looks like it does have a very good match into those particular builds in my personal opinion caesar the clown honestly i'm gonna put this in cold uh i feel like a lot of people are saying this is going to be a rp law 2.0 I feel like this is another one of these decks that just needs to be discovered. I feel like a lot of people just need to put a lot of time in it to really just find the best, you know, really, truly the best build for this deck. And I don't know when that's possibly going to be happening because everybody's on this Blackbeard train with all the support Blackbeard got. So my personal honest opinion, I feel like, you know, 
Caesar is I don't think it's dog water. I think it probably has some potential just being able to KO things on the board. I, I really feel like there's some potential with this, but it needs to be solved. And that's just all it truly is. It just truly just needs to be solved. So the next brand new leader we have is uh, this black blue Usopp. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This reminds me of ST14 Luffy, black Luffy. And the main reason why is because if you guys see the card on the screen, your cost two and graded just rolls the type characters have a plus one cost. So it still has that built in SC14 effect. And I feel like this particular deck will only be good if it's dominated by a black meta. If we actually look at Usopp's effect, this effect may be activated when one of your Desrosa characters are removed from the field by your opponent's effect or a KO'd. If you have five or less cards in your hand, draw one card. So this deck reminds me of ST14. If it is a black dominated deck, this card will be good because all the main black decks, mainly these two right here, have nothing but board removal so if there's there ever a time where these two decks are back in the meta then this will rise up in my personal opinion when we talk about you know utility and just being able to really abuse all the new support i feel like rebecca just does it better being the blue black leader and with five life as well the bit and that's another problem with this leader it only has four life this deck will only be good if it is a black dominated meta such as you know our current op08 meta that we're currently in Okay, so ST14 and uh, Usopp almost kind of doing the same thing. Just Rebecca does does Usopp's job a little bit better. So the next card we have right here is Sugar. I'm putting Sugar in Dog Water. Uh, and this is the only Dog Water card or new leader I'm gonna put here. I feel like everything that came out for Sugar is just used in green, purple, Doflamingo, honestly. I feel like this this is just another one of those throw layers this is like the chopper this is the chopper of the set you know how on opo8 we have the chopper and it's like nobody uses that leader this is the chopper of the set it has to be one bad leader this is it this is the limb of the set this is just the trash leader of the set that's all i could say doflamingo just does everything better in my personal honest opinion with all the brand new support so we are back. I actually had to make a cut and add a couple of these older decks because some of these older decks I feel like have some potential OPO team of all the brand new support. I just forgot to add them when I initially started. So we made it this far. You guys are about to see some extra saucy shit in this video. Fact, not opinion. Let's go ahead and talk about this brand new leader in Law. Law, I'll have to put this at the back of A1. You guys are probably asking why, why? Law is pretty much the brand new version of Raju. Okay, purple, blue Raju. When this deck high rolls, this deck automatically just wins. There's no counter, okay? When it high rolls, it wins. When it low rolls, it loses. Just being able to rush the board as fast as possible with all the brand new Supernova support is crazy. The biggest problem that this deck has is its consistency factor, okay? I've been seeing a lot of games with this deck. When it high rolls, it literally blows out uh, you know blackbeard and that's another reason why this deck is so high because this deck is so damn aggressive that it actually overwhelms the blackbeard players the only problem that this deck could have is the swarm ability from doflamingo but like i said this deck is a glorified raju purple blue raju deck when it high rolls this shit just spins the fucking block okay fact not an opinion but when it low rolls and you don't see his pieces this can literally just be in dog water so this is a consistency type of deck and you know, I, I just feel like we just need a build that actually just matches what it needs to do. Okay, but right now, just based off of what I've seen and what I've heard in the streets, this really lives and dies off of if it can high roll or not. Okay, and that's the reason why I'm putting in A1. I could put it on top of Brazy, but it's already too much stuff with Brazy, and I like putting new, newer stuff here. Next deck we have that's new, which is the NAS new leader, has to be Kid. And I'm gonna be honest, if you Kid is in the same boat as BY Luffy, uh, Anel, like all these decks you guys see right here, you know, Anel, you know, Kid, BY Luffy, and you know, Luchi, all four of these decks have one thing in common is that they abuse on play abilities, okay? So if they abuse on play abilities, teach is just gonna wipe all these deck clean until this deck is banned or something happens to it all four of these decks will remain in breezy just because teach just makes all these decks unplayable almost every single one of their cards in kid has on play you know effects maybe outside of the new hawkins card where if you ko you take you know you get rid of a life but we're talking about as a whole both this deck and everything else right here all rely on on play abilities and you know it's just you know look this is just the better we're in you can't really just use on play abilities these are the next four decks that i'm gonna talk about first off 
is Arlong. I feel Arlong will get a boost with all of the brand new yellow support. I'm putting this shit in cold. I don't think it shit's in dog water. I feel like Arlong will be a sleeper. Uh, it's definitely going to be in cold. It's going to be just kind of like how Seether the Clown is. Uh, you just have to find the proper build for this Arlong. I feel like Arlong will do some damage. Same thing with Odin. Odin actually gets a boost in OP09. You didn't really see too much play, but with OP10, some new Exodia pieces just got released. Everybody's saying in the streets that Odin is actually going to be a somebody now in OPO 10 so I'm going to put this right here in Brazy I feel like somebody just need to come up a really shiesty ass build but I've seen the support that I feel like this green red Udon is something that you know this deck was particularly missing okay I feel like this it, it got some support it literally got some support I just think it's just time for people to cook up a really shiesty ass build same thing with Kinema I'm gonna be real with you. People are saying Kitamao is gonna be good. I still think this shit is in dog water. And the last deck that I'm still waiting for somebody to crack is this purple yellow croc purple yellow croc got a whole bunch of good yellow support and i feel like this may be something that you know we're missing okay i always ever since i started playing this game i've always told you this deck is one or two cards away from being a top tier deck so what i want everybody in the streets if you guys are watching this video cook up something opio 10 for crocodile so i can put you on the channel that's all i'm going to say but when we actually look at everything else for our tier list i feel like this looks like the most accurate tier list we do have a lot of decks in brazy to be honest with you if we have to um you know change some things around um we could put buggy and cold we could put rp luffy honestly i think rp luffy's probably in cold zoro's probably down here uh sabo's down here um man, everything else looks like it's done something in op09 i think this is it. i think this is the tier list hey this is my official op tier list blackbeard doe flamingo luffy are the three best deck a1 we got shanks rebecca uh smoker purple green dofi you guys need to find a bill for this in uh law of the high rolls and then everything else we start seeing all the older decks that we already have so this is my variation and version of this op 10 tier list prediction list this is what i honestly think this is going to be meta let me know below what you guys think y'all um hopefully i did y'all deck some justice for some of the older decks such as this purple green dope for bingo but let me know below what you guys personally think gang but yeah that's all i got but look before i go if you was feeling the vibe make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll go